Hey guys, welcome back to the wood shop. If you guys are in the market for some parallel clamps, you'll know that they're very expensive for the most part. I'd, I'd seen some in the big box stores and almost immediately I thought, you know, if Harbor Freight can come out with those and, you know, do a, a competitive price on them, they're probably going to, you know, do pretty good in the market. Uh, and I had not seen them on a website or anything, but the last time I was in Harbor Freight, I walked around there just to glance at the clamps and sure enough they had some in there so they must have been listening to me but these i'm assuming bremen i assume is how you say that uh, we're going to show you these things today and see how they compare to some of the the bigger name brands uh, see if these might be something you need Okay, so I thought I'd do a comparison video on these to show you the Harbor Freight parallel clamps, of course. And I'm going to compare them to a Jorgensen or a Pony Jorgensen, however you say that. Uh, and the only reason I'm comparing them to these is because these are the only other ones I have. Uh, and naturally, I did not have the money to buy these things. These are, like I said, at least 50 bucks a piece. Uh, and I just couldn't see spending that much for clamps. You know, I'm not one of the the big time YouTube woodworkers that's got just tons and tons of these. Uh, how I got these, I actually won a hundred dollar gift card from Lowe's, or excuse me, from Home Depot, uh, and they had a two pack deal. You could get both of them for right around that amount. So I ordered those. So those didn't cost me anything, and that's why we're doing a comparison. Uh, but now these from Harbor Freight. This particular one, any, anyway, is the 24 inch, and they also got a four footer. Uh, and I bought the four footer in this one, and it's probably a little too much for me, honestly, because I don't use, I don't do very many four foot projects. Uh, but if I need to, it's there. And also, as you can see behind me, I've got, they're kind of dusty at the moment. I've got some bar clamps there, too. Uh, but you can see here the outer part, you know, they look fairly similar. One of the first things I kind of noticed is on these Bremen ones from Harbor Freight, they have a plastic or a rubber type cover on the outside here that uh, is, naturally it says it's resistant to glue, which, which is a good thing, versus the, the Jorgensen's. These are always a little complicated to get them moving back in my opinion they don't have any rubber pieces on it but regardless it's still a, a plastic that wood glue is not really going to stick to and another one of the things i looked at uh, and it could be something to do with the technology of this one from harbor freight and how it works and moves if you notice the jorgensen i don't know if you can pick that up It's, it's smooth all the way around. And so, I'm not sure exactly what it is that causes it to tighten loose and that kind of stuff. But the Bremen one from Harbor Freight, it's got grooves all along the top. And one thing I noticed in here, doesn't seem to be very heavy duty, but there's a spring down inside of there that this, Jorgensen one that, that does not. And like I said, it's probably something to do with its technology and how the clamp itself works. I've noticed that. And one other thing I like about these two, and it is the same in the, the Jorgensen ones, these are what they call square cut threads. You get a stronger thread with that, you know, so some of these has got real thin threads, have a tendency they can break off and lose threads on it. Uh, and of course you're not going to have a functional clamp after that. As you can see on this F-style clamp, also has the ridges through here. And those, this thing is what actually keeps that in place. So if you want to move that forward, naturally you're, you're pushing that forward. And it's just turning loose of this to allow it to move forward. And once you let go, it catches again. And so I'm assuming something like that is how this 
this thing is set up and as you can see on this f-style clamp those are not square cut threads like i was talking about i've never had issues with them you know besides the point but you know a square cut is a uh, seems to be a stronger thread and you don't have near as much damage as like anything really if it's got a square corner like this top i'm using on my assembly table that edge is fragile uh, so same thing same thing goes for threads it can be fragile and break off on there if, if you have a situation that does that okay so if you're not familiar with these like i said I, i'm no expert on these so you know just take that for what it is until i got these pony jorgensen's which was literally just a few months ago uh, i had never used one but i can tell you that these to move these you just kind of lift up on there and that releases it and then you can move forward now these are naturally instead of just being called parallel clamps a lot of people call them cabinet clamps you know these are made if you're making cabinets and that kind of stuff but a lot of people don't necessarily use them just for cabinets and so this is probably overkill for what i'm doing here i'm just i'm not even gluing this up i'm just showing you kind of how this works And these, the package they came in says it's 1,300 foot-pounds of force. Uh, and I don't have anything that's going to verify that, but I'm going to tell you they're very strong. And so I'm just, we're just going to tighten those things up a little. And as anybody can tell you, in a wood joint, you don't need a heck of a lot of force. As long as you've got the two edges together, they're glue there and something just holding uh, even a little bit of pressure on there uh, that's going to be substantial enough but just for demonstration purposes i've got those tightened up pretty good and you can see i'm picking it up by the wood itself naturally that's not 1300 pounds but you can tell if if i could pick that up by the wood and especially if it's not bowing or come apart in the middle that, that's a very strong joint uh, and the main reason I keep these, I get a lot of orders for the wooden American flags, and these will come in handy for that. One of the features about this I really like, just for that purpose, for the flags. I've got some clamps, but keeping them even, the little strips I make for them, keeping them even is the hard part. And so this, actually, what I like about it, you can see these set up on their own whereas a f style clamp not saying it won't but it's not as not as stable and so you have to really work with those these right here they're they're secure when they're standing there on their own well, hopefully you, you found something interesting in this video maybe you want to go out and buy you some of these Rim and clamps, uh, like I said, they're at Harbor Freight. I paid thirty-five dollars each for this, plus I had a twenty percent coupon. So if you can save a few bucks off of that too, that that helps. I think it knocked one of them down to twenty-seven dollars. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you're interested in parallel clamps, maybe go pick a set of these up instead of visiting the other big box stores, uh, Lowe's and Home Depot, and save you a few bucks. I think you'll be well surprised at how well they work. Uh, they're good and strong, good and sturdy, that kind of stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for subscribing, all that good stuff. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.